what is the, your unique gift to the world? We, we get that um, at some very deep level, what every single human being longs for is to be seen for who they are, not for what our parents wanted us to be, or our teachers wanted us to be, or our kids, or spouses, or bosses, but who we are. We want to be seen for that. And my uh, assumption that I've been testing over the years is that when we feel seen, not are seen, but feel seen for who we are, when we have that felt sense, all we want to do then is serve. But until we feel seen, we keep working on see me, see me, see me. And sometimes we get in our own way. Because we, you know, I want you to see this, that I'm, uh, this is really me, but truly, this is me. Warts and all. What we want to be seen is just for who we are. And our intention is, and our aspiration, and our, we, we talked this morning about our intentions, is really to be that for you, to see you for each one of you for who you really are, so that you can go out there and do this work. So we're asking, again, that you step into the footsteps of giants. The, the kind of footsteps that have been led by Jesus, Buddha, Gurdjieff, Patanjali, Ramana Maharishi, um, Morihai Yushibi, the founder of Aikido, that, whose mission was to create, continue to work on creating the perfect human being. And um, our work is integral in nature, and it's developmental. And, you know, what, what is this year about? We'll talk about it in many ways. The year is, um, it's a year of intense apprenticeship. It's not just theory. You'll be engaging in a, an apprenticing in how to be coaches. In, in the tradition, again, of um, how mastery was developed in many of the traditions before, they used to have apprentices. You used to not just go to college and learn theory, but you actually engaged in it. So you'll be engaging in a lot of work. It's about questioning your assumptions about yourself, about the world, about people. It's about um, a lot of unlearning as well as learning. You know, we've come to understand human beings in a particular way. And we will do our best as a faculty to keep pulling the rug out from under you so that you're not so, too solid in your assumptions about yourself, the world, and people. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's also the year is about um, connecting to each other as a community. And I've always, I think, said this on day one, and people laugh, and at the end of the year, um, they know the truth of it, that you will fall in love with people who are in this room. And I mean that with all sincerity. Um, and it's the kind of falling in love in terms of with a community that is, uh, uh, like Aristotle used to talk about friendship. You know, what, what is friendship, really? And he had uh, three characteristics of it. And one was um, enjoying the company of one another. That's, that's friendship. It's also being of value to each other. There's a reciprocity, there's a valuing to each other. And a shared commitment to common good. And again, I uh, suspect, having read your applications, that that's true for each one of you, that uh, there is some kind of a commitment to something greater than yourself. Um, we talk often about this year being, uh, there being three tracks in some way. We're going to be learning the methodology. 
So those of you that love theory, no worries. You'll get your share of that, especially in session two. You'll get lots and lots of it. We'll be working on your way of being, which we fondly call your wab. And the third is working on a community of practice. And some other ways of thinking about this is, um, this is about doing right. The methodology, this is about being good. And the community is about um, both giving and receiving support. In our faculty meeting this morning, some of us were speaking about how difficult it is to receive support. You know, America, and I know we have more than Americans here, but I, I would actually say that it's of the modern world that we have become very independent. You know, I'll do it alone and I'll do it my way. So learning how to give and receive support. Methodology is about the technical aspects of coaching. This is about the virtuous. And this is about contactfulness and connection. Methodology is also about skillful means. How will we, what means are required and our way of being is also, is, is really about an appropriate response. How will we respond appropriately with whatever arises? And the community of practice again is really of about, of about connecting with values of each other, that shared commitment that I talked about. 